in this video we're going to talk about the new Oxygen 3.7 version and more specific about the composite elements. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So yesterday the final version of 3.7 was released and with that came the composite elements. It is an extra cost of 29 bucks and this is something that you must pay if you have bought basic of or WooCommerce uh, uh, license and agency after the 12th of February this year. Now, I saw in the comments of the Oxygen channel that there were persons that uh, said that this was unfair because they didn't know it, because they didn't say anywhere. Now, uh, let's. Uh, uh, I wanted to share my thoughts about that. Yeah, I think that they could do a better job and they could go into uh, the homepage and make an announcement and say, please buy before the RC uh, release, candidate 3 point, release candidate version 3.7 uh, comes out or else you're going to lose the extra elements that we're going to set. But of course, these are not extra elements. It's something different. We're going to talk about that. And this it's something that uh, personally I think that they should put that in the home page just for them to be transparent and clear that if you're going to go after the 3.7 RC, you're going to miss it. Uh, so I saw a person that said I was looking about oxygen and I hadn't buy it and then uh, gone and bought it uh, before uh, a, a day after the 12th, so the 13th, and basically I wasted, uh, I, I saved 20 bucks, but lost uh, the composite elements, and it's the same. So if you go to the uh, blog post, and if we go to more articles, we're going to find uh, here in the release of the 3.7 alpha version, and keep in mind that I had made a specific video about that because I thought it was too important, and I make a specific video that was about five or six minutes just for that. And it said here somewhere that here that it said that if you buy the agency plan before the 3.7 release candidate one is released, then you will have those composite elements included. If you go and buy the agency plan after the 3.7 RC released, then you have to pay extra for that. Of course, all the, those people that bought Oxygen before the different plans and they paid just for 99 bucks, uh, they will have everything because they do have the agency license. This is why they say or equivalent. So they did mention about that. If you see the video that was released with the 3.7 alpha, they say that you have to buy the agency before the release candidate gets out to get the composite elements. You do have to, to uh, buy that in order to get that. But they didn't go and put anything into the home page. I don't know because I don't have a Facebook account if they did anything in the Facebook group, if they mentioned anything. I did my best to promote that thing just to inform as many people as I could, but I can get some frustration for those that didn't uh, understand it, didn't catch it and didn't see that coming. Now, keep in mind that the composite element is not an extra element. Okay, uh, it's something like a library, something like a template. Uh, they're using the template method, so basically if you go to these if you go to your website and you go into the template, you can see the template that they are having. And uh, not the template here, sorry. If we go to, uh, let's go to a new page. Let's add a new page. Uh, by saying templates, <laughs> I was confusing myself. Okay, let's go for test one and let's publish that. Publish and let's edit that with Oxygen. And let's wait for that load. Sorry for I keep you guys waiting. So if we go here and set add and then go to the library, we will see that we have some design sets and here we have the atomic and anything else that you can find here. And inside section, you will see that for the blog, uh, let's keep that in some moment to load. So you can find that you have some elements inside here. Now, this is how the composite elements are going to work. They're going to load directly from the repository of Oxygen with those uh, library elements and everything else. So if you go to add 
and you go into the basics, you may see one day that you have uh, something different that you didn't have before here, a new element that you didn't know about and you haven't heard. That's a new add-on that they made in the composite elements. Of course, if you have the composite elements, if you have the license to do that, you will see something like that. Also, they will push updates, they will push fixes and everything else to the composite elements uh, without the need of updating Oxygen itself. So they can fix something uh, before a new release comes up because it's something that works like the library. It gets the updates through the repository of uh, the Oxygen library. Uh, so if you have a website that is just for a local, uh, in a local PC and you have no internet connection, you may not see, you may, uh, not you may, you will not see any updates in those composite elements. If you connect that to internet, then it will get those updates. So keep in mind that all of those elements are not something new element. It's not something that they created uh, from the beginning. So if you go to a drop down and you click here and you add that and open the structure, you will have the drop down button. OK, and here if we click here, you will see that this is basically a div. OK, that contains a code block with the uh, code block that is JavaScript that is needed and the CSS that is needed and the PHP that is needed. PHP is empty, but the CSS may have something. Yeah, it has something. After that, we have a, another div, as you can see here. And this inside has a label, which is a text, and then the icon, which is the icon uh, element. And then we have another div with uh, some divs inside here, and then we have some text inside. So basically, they created uh, some layouts and this is our layout. These are layouts of elements. They create some new layouts using all the layouts that you already have. I saw a comment that said now, that now it begins a, a paid uh, version of Oxygen, and I thought that everything was lifetime. Yeah, it is lifetime. Uh, you have the ability to create your own elements by using all of those. I created myself. Uh, uh, something using the Oxygen and HTML and CSS, and that was a uh, table pricing. And I created something and I can save it to my list and I can use it and reuse it again. So this is something that Oxygen team created and they want to release it as an extra plugin. So I can uh, agree with that, that this is an extra feature, not uh, something uh, as an ability that you can recreate. They have uh, videos that you can watch and see how you can create uh, some things like that. So they don't have the, ho uh, the hover scrolling image, but they do have, I think somewhere was the, uh, let's see, image comparison, dynamic slider. I think that uh, there was somewhere a switcher, a double uh, post, uh, I don't know what was it. Okay, uh, so if you go if you go and try something like that, you can create it yourself. You don't have to use those. This is like a library. It's not something extra that you must have. It's a great deal to have if you do own that. But if you don't, it's not the end of the world. Okay, you can pay that extra bucks just to have that. Uh, maybe the price will go up later on if they add more elements. Yeah, maybe that. So hopefully they will do some lifetime deal uh, later on just for those people that they missed this and they didn't uh, know about how they're going to get the composite elements for free. Because I do feel that the frustration is something that uh, it's logical to happen. Uh, now, in order for the composite elements to work, you have to go into the oxygen, you have to go into the settings, and then you're going to the license. Here you will find that you have a license. If uh, you have already created a uh, the oxygen with the previous version and you have a license here and you don't see the composite elements just click submit uh, three or four times here and then check if you have uh, those submit uh, those composite elements inside your page if you don't then uh, try to clearing your uh, license click clicking submit refresh the page entering the license once more and try that. Uh, for me, the submit button worked in two or three websites, so I have no reason to believe that it will not work for you guys. So uh, just uh, click it two or three times, and if you saw this, uh, you may saw that this hasn't any icon. So the hover uh, scrolling image doesn't have the uh, composite icon here. So let's refresh the page and see now that I have submitted the uh, license if it will get the icon for the composite elements. 
Now, if you don't have, of course, uh, the pack for the composite elements and you want to put that as an extra don because you have paid that as an extra, here's the field that you're going to put your uh, license for the composite elements. Let's see now, full add. It still doesn't have an icon here, but I know that these are the composite elements and this is how it worked for me. So that was the video. It's a short video just to share my thoughts about the uh, whole deal with the composite elements and the frustration that you guys may feel. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.